My next patron question is from Andrew, who is curious about a proposed merger that never happened. In an alternate version of history, what do you think would be different if Jim Henson never died in 1990 and Disney had purchased all of Henson's company, minus the Sesame Street Muppets, as originally planned? For those unfamiliar with this, back in the late 80s, Henson was having discussions with Disney and then-CEO Michael Eisner about buying his company and the rights to the Muppets. He felt Disney was the best place for them, and there were big plans. One was for an area, the Disney MGM Studios theme park, entirely devoted to the Muppets, which is what led to the creation of Muppet Vision 3D. After Jim Henson passed away, Eisner kept pestering his family about buying the company, much to their annoyance. The Henson Company even sued Disney, claiming they were using the Muppets to promote their theme parks without permission. Despite the deal collapsing, Disney and Henson nonetheless worked together on several projects. The show Dinosaurs was originally conceived by Jim Henson, and was eventually produced by Walt Disney Television. Disney released The Muppet Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island and signed a distribution deal with Jim Henson Video in the 90s, which led to them putting out not only The Muppet Movie and The Great Muppet Caper on VHS, but episodes of The Muppet Show and Fraggle Rock as well. Muppets Tonight also started airing on ABC shortly after Disney acquired the network, and Henson produced Bear in the Big Blue House for the Disney Channel. Disney did eventually acquire The Muppets in 2004, but not the Jim Henson Company, which is currently independent. Interesting enough, the only Henson productions since then to have been released by Disney are The Muppets Wizard of Oz and, of all things, Alexander and the Terrible Horrible No Good Very Bad Day. It was announced a few years ago that Disney and Henson were developing Muppet Man, a biopic on Jim Henson, but I don't know the current status of that movie. Going back to the main question, what would have happened if Henson had not passed away and the Disney-Henson deal continued as planned? Well, for starters, there was that Muppet Land I mentioned earlier, which I'm sure would have been neat. I imagine the Muppet movies that followed his death would have turned out a little different, though. For example, would the Muppet Christmas Carol still have gotten made with Henson still around? The idea was proposed by talent agent Bill Haber, close associate of the Hensons, after he passed away. It does feel like the kind of movie he would have been on board with, but I'm hardly the appropriate person to make those assumptions. One thing that probably would not have happened was Jim Henson Company's brief deal with Sony Pictures to make movies for them. I don't think Muppets from Space would have happened in this alternate universe, although there's a possibility Disney would have made Buddy. Disney was producing things like George of the Jungle, Mighty Joe Young, Tarzan, and the Animal Kingdom theme park at the time, which gives the impression that Michael Eisner thought gorillas were the next big thing. Henson would have continued to develop other scripts for Disney, although they would have likely had a preference for Muppet movies and shows. Jim Henson always had big ambitions, and it would be interesting to see him pursue those projects that excited him at Disney. The Henson Company was at one point going to produce Into the Woods for Columbia Pictures, which fell through. Would Disney have ended up making the movie in the 90s instead of the version made decades later? They were also going to produce an adaptation of Pinocchio with Francis Ford Coppola, which was set to be released by Warner Brothers. That movie never happened, but the Jim Henson Creature Shop would later work on the 1996 film adaptation, and the Jim Henson Company was a producer on Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Would Henson produce Pinocchio have gotten the green light by Disney in the 90s? During his tenure running Disney, Michael Eisner did have a tendency to ruffle the feathers of creatives and executives. Remember that brief period when it looked like Pixar would stop working with Disney and almost went to another distributor, largely due to contractual disagreements and other issues with Eisner? It's possible the same sort of situation might have happened with Jim Henson, and he would have decided to take his company and talents elsewhere. I will say that even though Disney did not end up buying his company, and it would take several years before the Muppets wound up acquired by the House of Mouse, I've always associated Kermit and Friends with Disney. In a recent co-review I did with Morgan Ledger on the Muppet movie, I mentioned the VHS of that movie was my introduction to the Muppets. And who released that video? Disney. Then you have Muppet Vision 3D, and Muppet Christmas Carol, and Dinosaurs, projects which were produced alongside Disney. It is fascinating to think what could have been if Jim Henson continued to grow his company in creation, but I also think Brian and Lisa Henson have done a nice job of running things and making sure his legacy is kept alive for future generations to enjoy. Thank you for your question, Andrew.